All right, so you're trying to use uh, DaVinci Resolve. You got Windows 10, and the problem is it keeps giving you the red screen of death. Yeah, uh, I know what that means. Let's uh, let's get out of here so we can hear each other talk. <laughs> I like DaVinci Resolve. I think it's fantastic. The first time I ever used it, I thought, wow, I didn't think you could get any better than uh, Premiere. And I, I'm not going to say it's better than Premiere. It's, it's just as good. It's equal because I've used both of them and they work fine. Uh, but I like DaVinci Resolve. It's got some features on it that, uh, that I just like. And the thing is with the DaVinci Resolve is it's, it's free. <laughs> free is always, always good. So uh, anyway, the problem I've been having is not being, with Windows 10, not being able to use MOV files from my iPhone. I started using my iPhone and it can't use them. It just gives you the red screen of death. I've heard other people say, use VLC, uh, that works. It, it didn't work for me, okay? Just, just simple as that, it didn't work for me. And so I wanna be able to use the HEVC files in, in, in their natural state. So what I did is, uh, anyway, let, let's, let's, let's show you how I did it, and I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it. All right, the first thing you're going to see once you get your DaVinci Resolve up and running, we're going to go ahead and import a video into here, because we're going to go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and put this one in first. We put it down the timeline. Instantly, we see media <laughs> offline now if you have a mac you're not going to see this because it's a mac and it's made for mov files but since this is windows it's going to be like this and to fix this we need to go get an app all right the first thing we want to do is get to the app store the quickest way to do that you can go down to your search bar and you can just hit app and hit enter it'll take you to the app store and then you're going to type in h e VC, that's going to be the name of the codec. So you're going to type in HE, which I already have it here. HEVC codec. First thing that pops up is going to be the video extensions. Click on that. And of course, I've already purchased it. So it's not going to show up as to buy it, but you'll just purchase it. Once you do, you come over here and just hit install. Now it's still not going to work just yet until you click the mouse somewhere else, like say here. Boom, there it is, instantly works. Now you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, it still says media offline down here in the timeline. What do I, what do, I do when it's when it's like that? Well, have, have, hang on, I'm glad you asked that question because you're gonna, just gonna click it, you're gonna delete it, and you're gonna drag it back down to your timeline and bada bing, bada boom, there it is, all done. It's, it's that simple, it really is. It doesn't take much to do, but uh, when I first did it, there just wasn't many videos out there that said, this is what you do. So hopefully this helps. So there you go. Easy fix. I like easy. If you know me, you know that uh, I like to work smart, not hard. Uh, don't, don't go on and on and on. Just let me know how to do it, how to fix it. And we're all happy, right? Hey, if you get some value out of this video, uh, give it a thumbs up in the comments below. Let me know what you think and see you next time.